Hi, it's Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. We are back in the kitchen with my really bad sore throat, cough, now I've got the cough, and head cold. But the cough is good. I'm expelling all that stuff from that vibrant, relaxing, and very calming bath that I had. It really worked. I mean, do I not sound better? But now we've got the calming and relaxing part done. My ears aren't hurting as bad. My sinuses are a little more open. My fever is down. So now it's time to make some just straight up organic cough drops. I'm not adding any, I mean, I have another cough drop recipe, yes, but this is just honey and infused herbs. It's, so here we just have some confectioner sugar. You can use arrowroot powder or cornstarch. I find the confectioner sugar, I just like the taste of it better. And all I'm doing is taking one of these little old fashioned uh, food coloring bottles you can use the end of a, um, like any small bottle, like an imitation vanilla type bottle. And you just want to, so we take the end of this, and you just want to bake some indentions inside a pie plate in that powdered sugar. All right, there you go. There you go. And it's going to take about four pie plates. All right, so now we've made our little indentations, and I'll zoom in on that. And we prepared the pie pans in advance. Now next up, I'm going to use some of this lemon and ginger that has been dried and put into a tea bag. You can certainly make your own. This is by Twinnings and it is organic. It's just an herbal tea. There's no actual tea leaves in here. So for my heart condition, I could have it. It's just lemon and ginger that's been dried and put into some tea bags. All right, I emptied that tea bag and when I did, uh, I emptied that in here and when I did, I've got the little packet that I'm going to use and you can make this out of um, some really thin cheesecloth or you can mix it up in your mortar and pestle and you could add it to a tea diffuser just like this one I handed these out at my daughter's wedding and then you just put it down in the boiling water uh, when you're done so trust me I had to practice saying that all right and then we're just gonna keep some of these little pull tabs off some of my tea bags all right, I'm gonna, I kept some of those. I just took them off and kept some. You could definitely make your own out of kitchen stirring and some heavy cardboard uh, copy paper. Here I've got my organic uh, dried chamomile herbal tea. Uh, these two were in the little bags as well. And it's just chamomile, it's just crushed flowers. And then here it's certified uh, GMO and USDA organic. It's got all the certifications. It's no, there's no actual tea in here. Certainly do that if you want, but this right now, we're just diffusing this. All right, so lemon ginger and chamomile in here so far. If you're going to do the paper version, you're going to need a stapler with a staple, okay? And you can make these up in advance and then pull them out whenever you need them and then just store a few of them in a tin like this as well. And then you've got them whenever you want to make a cup of tea you know, some herbal tea, or you just want to use this for lotions, cough drops, syrups, what have you. It's nice. I've taken the dried chamomile right there. Oh, it smells so fresh. And here I've got the dried lemon and ginger, lemon pill and ginger pill, well, ginger itself. And I'm just going to take, and I could go ahead and put this just in the tea, just like that, but I want to break that scent out of it just a little bit more. So I put it here and I'm going to blend it here just a little bit in my uh, mortar and pestle just a little bit I don't want it coming through the actual uh, thing I don't want it to be oh I wish you had smell a vision that smells so good those are gonna make some excellent cough drops oh I've got a stuffed up nose and I can smell that okay that smells so good add a half a teaspoon of L absorbic acid or citric acid okay this is really good for you it's good in your makeup this is that same stuff I put on my face when I put it in my makeup right now I'm gonna put it in my cough drop see here we have our mixture now you could add other things to this be sure and keep your L absorbic acid be sure and keep the air out of it and keep it closed it's good in this mylar bag after opening for about three to five months all right here I'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary this is great for a cough great for congestion I'm going to add a little bit of sage. I'm going to grind all this in here in just a minute. Just a little bit of sage, a quarter of a teaspoon there, and a little bit of, um, of thyme. 
just a little bit of time and this is actually lemon time rub that in oh that smells so good oh that smells good i don't want to overpower this with too much lemon but because we are adding lemon juice to the mix as well my boiling water kettle i'm going to bring this back up to a boil and we need one cup of water one cup let's just add a couple of dashes let me turn that off just add a couple of dashes of ground turmeric to this there you go don't add too much you don't want to turn your tongue orange <laughs> and ground cloves which i love cloves it's very uplifting but it's very great for the throat for a cough so we're going to add a little bit of ground cloves but we don't you mean you could use fresh cloves and grind it up here in the mortar pestle as well now i'm just going to kind of blend that in all right so what we're going to do is we're going to fill our package back up again all you need is a small funnel just like that bend the paper up just like that fold it over and bend it up like that and then we don't need all of this we just need just a little bit we're, we're putting this in a cup of water so i would say about uh, i would say there's about a teaspoon a full heavy teaspoon to teaspoon and a half in here here you go get it kind of divided in the half mark here there we go let's make sure you can see that can you see that I'm kind of getting that so when i fold it i've got some on each side of the tea bag and then we're going to take and we're going to fold here and here and down one more time just like that i'll show you closer corner to corner just like wrapping a present and then down one more. right we're just going to put our string on here and i like to double my string up just like to double my string up we're going to come in here at the staple make sure the staple does not fall into anything we're going to staple it just like that and there we go because we doubled that string up it's a little more sturdier okay we've just added a cup of boiling water to this we're infusing this for about five eight ten minutes ten minutes max and we're just kind of getting those flavorings in there and getting all those good wonderful healthy properties infused into this water okay and i'll be making up some more of these tea bags so i can make up another batch at the drop of a hat all right now to this i'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of lemon juice that's a tablespoon of lemon juice can't find my little grater anywhere okay so on a little grater just like this right here i took a lemon off my lemon tree and yes i do have lemon trees in indiana they're in my sunroom and I'm just going to put in a little bit of fresh lemon peel okay first, these are the first year for lemons just take don't want any seeds in it so just squeeze like that and let's see how we're doing here with this yes my lemons are so tiny but they did the job didn't they all right this is infused nicely I can really smell the lemon and the chamomile and the clove in that very nice in the time I can really like I said time just really helps that chest congestion too you know herb garden grow an herb garden i cannot talk about that enough all right so now let's head on over here and let's put this together to turn up the heat to medium we put in the kitty thermometer right here you see that kitty thermometer and we want this to read hard crack stage at 300 degrees so be sure and turn this so that you can see this make sure that your candy thermometer is not touching the bottom of the pan and be sure and use a heavy gauge pan bottom and sides and this is the heaviest pan that I have is my Magnolite. It's one of the only things I use this pan for, but it's heavy enough that it doesn't burn anything on the bottom. All right, so we're going to start out with a half a cup of honey. This is our sugar. This is what's going to be making this candy hard. Try to keep the sugars and stuff off the side here. These are so good. They're so good and they're so good for you. You don't even have to have a sore throat to have an excuse to have one of these or warmed in any way and it's grown locally. Try to use local honeys whenever you have a honey and peanut butter and sandwich or anything like that because it'll, it'll really help your allergies for the pollens and the flowers in your area. This was uh, grown just north of here in Michigan. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a half a cup of this now very very hot let's see where we're at that's perfect right there 
and I'm going to add that to my half a cup of honey. Remember, we got the vitamin C in here. We got some good stuff going on. There we go. And I'm going to make two batches, so I have another half cup. There we go. That's just on medium heat right now. We want to keep the sugars off the side, and you want to make sure that your pan is very clean along the sides as well. And when this really starts boiling, this might, might really start to climb to get up to that 300 degrees. Just give it a little stir with a wooden spoon, and that will help keep the bubbles knocked down. It'll keep this from burning on the bottom as well. Soft, they're soft crack and hard crack stage. We're going to bring this up between 295 and 310. 300 is perfect. It always works out with my altitude. Perfect. Remember? We talked about how to boil water and how to regulate your um, your candy thermometer. Right now, you're at about 200 degrees. And remember, it might seem like it's taking a minute for it to climb, but when it starts climbing, you will know it. You will know it. And if you feel like you're not getting this to hard crack stage, just add another quarter cup to half a cup of honey you will get there. So go on over to my caramels video where I teach you how to calibrate your candy thermometer according to your altitude. See people forget to do that. If you're a higher altitude you're going to do this at a lower temperature probably around 295. You take off one degree for every thousand feet normally and that will usually work. I always find trial and error really helps. I'm at only 800 feet above sea level, so I only drop off one degree temperature. That's why instead of 310, I go around the 300 mark, because I know I'm still going to hit that hard crack stage. And you can test this in cold water. You can infuse these into some other foods, like cakes and frostings and things like that. So be really creative when you're infusing herbs into foods and into uh, tinctures and things. I mean this right here, I'm going to make some tinctures and some cough syrups and some other things with this right here. I mean my family's been super uber sick so this smells so good right now. Some people don't like the taste of honey. Put that on that piece right there. Make sure your kitty thermometer's down in there, but not hitting the bottom of the pan. And right now we are at 205 degrees. I gotta be all the way up just right above this line right here. All right, we're just gonna kinda keep this down. Like again, you have to stand here a while. This is uh, patience. Patience is a virtue here. But these are so worth it. They are so worth it. And you could add a little root beer flavoring or other flavorings to this. Butter rum. A little butter and rum flavorings. You don't need that. You really don't need it. These are refreshing and just loving. Have you ever ate something that just felt loving? That's this. That is this. And, when, and you can already tell I sound a lot better. Just breathing this in. I have to turn it down just a little bit. All right, we are now, be careful, don't burn yourself. We are now at about 225. And when this starts rising, it might hold for a minute, but all of a sudden when it starts rising it will rise pretty quickly so and I just kind of keep those kind of keep the wood spoon in here and kind of keep those bubbles kind of down and off the sides it kind of helps control the boil okay I can feel this starting to thicken up a little bit so it seems like that's going to set I've got this on medium I got this set on about number three I'm going to have to turn it down just a little bit. The temps are climbing. I'm up to, to, I'm at softball stage right now. 
So I'm at caramel stage right here. See when it starts to climb, it climbs quickly. 250, so we're at 250 to 260, so we're at hard ball stage. That's just hard ball. That's not crack. That's just hard ball stage. There's soft ball, which is caramels. There's firm ball, which are harder caramels. There's hard ball stage, and then there is soft crack and hard crack stage. We are going for hard crack stage here, okay? 300 degrees is a nice number right there. Don't want to burn these either, so we want to do this slowly. It just takes some time. Don't rush it. So, and these will turn clear once they cool off. Alright, we are at 275. We're at soft crack stage. We are at soft crack stage. About 270. This is going to start turning collars on you now. Keep an eye on it. Keep it stirred. I'm going to climb quickly. All right, we've got about 10 degrees left to go. Two degrees off of hard crack stage, so it's going to go quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cold plate. This has been in the freezer. You can do the water test or you can do the cold plate test. Give it a stir. Just a drop. Just a drop, and let's see what it's doing. That's not doing anything. That's good. Okay, we are right at the stage. Now let's see what's doing here. Look at that. You hear that crunch? This right here is a good point right here to start making the uh, candy strings. See how it starts stringing? There we go. We got it. We got it right there. Go ahead and turn this off and remove it from the heat. doesn't crack on your thermometer. We don't need mercury everywhere. We're going to give it a stir and then we're going to run over here and we're going to pour it into our molds. Some people make sure that you can see this. Uh, some people will just let this cool for about two or three minutes before they pour. It's not a bad idea. Kind of let this Cool down just a little okay. bit, and we're just going to start pouring just like this right here. Each batch should make about, see looky how that just falls right into there, or excuse me, with the powdered sugar. Look how that falls right in there using the powdered sugar. These are so yummy, and again, you can add flavoring to these if these just don't rock your boat flavor-wise. That is fine. Let's do another small pan here. I think this will be enough to... The honey in this smells so good. So this recipe made about two and a half tins worth, but I did pour it kind of quickly there. But these right here, when they cool in about 10, 15 minutes, I'll be able to kind of dust these with the, uh, with the confectioner sugar, and I'll be able to break these apart. All right? We'll be back here in just a few minutes. All right, All right if you want more of a syrup, instead of a cough drop. Um, remember, be careful who you give honey to. You're not supposed to give honey to a child under the age of a year old. So I just want to remind you of that. Now here, I just took this uh, leftover lemon and finished boiling this again in the microwave, getting it hot again. I threw the lemon in, and now I'm just getting the properties of the lemon out of here. You can add a little bit of ginger to this now. And this is just that same uh, tincture that I had made before for the cough drops. I'll put that link below. In fact, I'll just add this to that same video. And we're just going to add a couple of tablespoons of that. And then we're also going to add a couple of tablespoons. I don't add a couple of tablespoons of honey to this. There's one, two, two tablespoons of honey is plenty. Oop, let that down in there. There we go. Might have to pop the bubble. There we go. That get down in there. And again, you can put a piece of ginger in this. That's fine. Put the lid on this and just give this a good shake, just like you would for an oil. So I just used an oil piece here that I got at the Goodwill store. All right. Give this a good shake, and you can add this to your tea, to uh, the straight up cough syrup. I'll do that right now. Just 
just add this to hot boiling water. There's a numerous number of things that you can do. I'll just, uh, I'll take a spoonful of this right now. Let's try it. This is with all those wonderful herbs in here. Um, mmm. Oh my. Oh my. You're going to love that. You're going to love it. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and it will be good for about a week to a week and a half, okay? Because there's water in here in the honey, so it's not good as long. And you want all the nutrients and all the good, healthy benefits of those herbs and things. You want those in here. Give it a good shake before you serve it. I'm telling you, just a teaspoon of this will help the medicine go down right here. Right here you go. All right, we're just going to take and kind of break them up, dust them with a little powdered sugar, just like that. Put them into the sifter here. And we can reuse this powdered sugar. We're going to put it back in the bag or the container that it came in. Just going to give those a sift. Look at that. We're saving the powdered sugar and all the little pieces of the cough drops are coming out. So take and then put them in our container. Just like that right there. Just going to keep going. And we will sift all of this as well. First, I'm going to get all the cough drops out and broken up first. And it's fine if you can break them up. Looky, they're not quite uh, completely cool yet. But hear that crack? That's exactly what you want right there. You get rid of any sharp pieces. These are breaking up nicely. And they've only been cooling for a short period of time. Perfect. Of any sharp points, we don't want to hurt anybody. Keep some of that cornstarch or powdered sugar on here into the container, and we're just going to keep going. Store these in an airtight container, just like that. Like I said, in the refrigerator or wrapped individually in waxed paper. That will keep those from sticking together and becoming too sticky in one big lump. And they will within a week or two. They'll become one lump in here if you uh, dust off too much of the powder and just leave them sitting on the counter. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try one of these laundages. Mm. It has a definite lemon. I taste a little bit of the clove. This has a really strong honey flavor to it, a very deep, a very deep honey flavor, but the lemon actually hits you first. I'm going to find a container that fits these a little bit better. Just an airtight, rubber sealed container, and either, in, like I said, either in the refrigerator for three to four weeks or on the counter for one to two weeks, okay? Or you can wrap these individually with the wax paper and they can last you indefinitely, okay? That's the little tricks of the trade that I've learned. And I'm going to take and I'm going to save my powdered sugar. You know what? My throat already feels Learn about homemade remedies that I feel are better for you. You know what's in them. You made them, you know it's in them. And I just feel like it's better for you. Be sure and subscribe, hit that like button, give us that thumbs up. Let us know that we're bringing you content that you are interested in and that you want to see. We bring you a lot of variety. And uh, this week, like I said, I got so sick. But listen, I'm sounding better and better, aren't I? Homemade, herb-infused cough drops. Give these a try. Blessings.